just are numb to that to that concept and they're you're, everyone's just okay happy mm -hmm. so and i know microsoft's actually implementing this they're turning it on by default next month if you use microsoft authenticator for any of their their platforms and they did it in their consumer space uh, tell me why my because I've been getting bugged about Authenticator. Is that going to help me with my logins? Because right now it's super annoying, and I feel like I have to log into my my Microsoft accounts like all the time for Xbox and 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 other means. Yeah, you can do you can do where it's like you can turn on their thing and it's just passwordless. Okay, is like the phone is it is it a phone app the, kind of situation? It, it, yeah, you you hook it up with Authenticator and it okay. Should, so that's um like uh, like Apple does that, Steam does it. Steam does a QR code now actually. Um mm -hmm. WhatsApp will do it for the syncing and I only use WhatsApp for um communication for for shows. Like when I'm talking with a producer um on the other end of the server side, uh when we're doing something with like fighter or expectation sports or something like that, right? Like that's the only that that's all I know that that uses it in my world. Um in my circle at least. So, so not a big deal for me, but again, WhatsApp is something that is connected to bank accounts and everything else in certain countries. Like it is the thing, the everything app, right? So that that's that's what they're looking for is that, and that is a bigger deal, and that is, and that can you know on top of just simple impersonation scams that we see on Facebook. Because I know Katie, you you always throw flags up about those kinds of situations. So um, the one thing I'd urge you to check out is. Um and you'll notice it when you're setting up some MFAs. I know uh, who owns Fortnite. Epic. Epic. Epic, like they, Epic and Nintendo both. There's like no recovery for their for really? their MFA. Oh no. And when when you when you set it up, that you get like here's your ten free passphrases. Lock these away because if you ever screw up your MFA, you can type in any one of these and you'll be able to get in. But they're only one time use, and when they're up, they're up. And that's, um, that's crazy for video games, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I mean, but here you have to set up, and Fortnite calls it 2FA. If you want to like compete in like their cash prize, some of their cash prize stuff, mm -hmm. you have to have 2MFA wow. or 2FA. If you want to gift someone something, you have to set up 2FA. And they're another one that um, feels like I'm logging in like once a week for the application. And I am downloading a Microsoft Authenticator now. Uh, to try to do that, uh, get my get my accounts up to snuff. Um, and uh, is, you say Epic is so is Epic does like I got two FA where I get, I get the code through the through the email. But is there so like you a, get, is there there, there's a I I have I don't have the two FA set up via SMS code. I have it set up with the Authenticator app. I have okay. my Microsoft account in there. I have my my uh, on is Nintendo this, Switch. You say the Authenticator app is it the Microsoft Authenticator. Or is there something else? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Microsoft Authenticator. So that will set up with Epic as well. Yes. Okay. Wait, wait. Do I have to log in with with Microsoft in you order? You still to do have that? to log in for the Epic one. I'm not sure. I'm trying to look up how to go passwordless. Okay, we'll take a look at Microsoft that because I would account. love that because my biggest hang up with Epic, and then we'll get out of here, uh, is I go to play GeForce Now on my on my Google TV, and it wants me to sign in to epic you know through a controller <laughs> and i'm like no this isn't happening um so so that's been really really annoying but a, a lot of times there the different systems will also say like when you get the login prompt it'll say login with app or something like that yes, and it'll yes. send the i've seen that with some of the other adobe does this as well adobe has their own authenticator and i've been using that for a while because we have like two two seats on it but i have you know three computers so i'm kind of juggling a little bit yeah mm -hmm. the the interesting thing on the the Microsoft Authenticator will let you back up, I think it's one device, to iCloud. Um, so if you ever needed to restore your Authenticators, you can restore from iCloud. Mm -hmm. um, Google, I can't remember if it let, the Google Authenticator, I can't remember if it let you back it up, but if you want to transfer devices in Authenticator, in, yeah, and Google's Authenticator, on the phone, it has a QR. Like, you say transfer to another device, and it brings up the QR code on your device. You point the one to the other, and boom, your your Authenticators are sucked off there. 
Let's work on our phrasing, but other than that, good information. Uh, <laughs>